Hey guys, this is Hafiz and today I'm going to show you uh, another parking which is down the street from the one I made. Um, so I want you to look at the competition, it's like a half mile down the street and uh, as you can see the main road I showed you last time in the video and uh, today I'm going to show you the competition uh, uh, parking lot. So how bad is the competition? And, uh, uh, how much uh, potential we have uh, for the parking business I'm going to give you guys some information about the parking business um, as you can see this parking lot um, there's a small warehouse building next to it and uh, it could be a storage building or a warehouse building and as you can see the entrance they use the fence door and uh, the sign for the parking and as soon as you enter they use this uh, space for the truck parking and uh, also they have uh, uh, containers or uh, on the side of the parking lot so you ha they have used each and every single uh, <coughs> spot that they could use and there is a small uh, loading dock that's only for the low deck trucks or delivery trucks and uh, as you can see when we enter the entrance is uh, fully paved and uh, there is a few dumpsters or trash cans and there is also a loading dock which we can use for the for um, switching freight or also for deliveries so this building is uh, like a 10,000 square feet building so they're not using for the warehouse purpose it's like a small uh, business they may be using for different purpose not for the trucking so we're gonna talk about the trucking business only so as you can see this parking lot have a uh, uh, a lot of potholes in there they have used uh, the same material but they didn't use enough uh, quantity so that's why you can see that uh, the ground is uh, really messed up and uh, a lot of water on the ground and uh, as you can see the 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 parking lot is itself is like uh, approximately six acres that you can see right now including uh, the whole building and the parking lot so I remember talking to this guy a long time ago about uh, uh, purchasing this business and uh, the amount of money he was asking was uh, uh, about like 2.7 million dollars so and uh, if you look at the business um, he was uh, I mean if you just look at the truck count and uh, if you charge them $150 for the like almost like 100 trucks is uh, at least making uh, 15 to $20,000 from the parking business and uh, warehouse is a, a bonus point so I would say uh, it was still twenty five to thirty thousand uh, dollar uh, business but the asking amount was a little bit uh, high so um, we pass on that In this parking lot, as you can see, the, a lot of potholes and the fence. Uh, it is fence. Uh, if you can notice a small little fence on the side of the parking lot, and uh, it's not uh, well maintained. And you don't see a lot of houses around the parking lot, which is good. And if you are idling your truck or you're running your reefers overnight, uh, nobody should be bothering you. 
and no sh nobody should be complaining about your business and uh, if you look at the ground and the condition of the parking lot and the way they have uh, parked the trucks it's like really good because as a trucker you need a lot of space in front of you so you can back in easily so they have uh, utilized the space really nicely you know uh, and uh, <clears throat> you can see a lot of grass on the ground and the main thing to notice here is that uh, even with this condition you can still get the same amount of rent you don't have to overspend and make it look so fancy uh, you can see they don't have palms that's why the ground is on the the ground is uh, full of water so you don't need to spend a lot of money uh, to maintain the yard and you can still make uh, uh, a lot of money from this and as you can see they have uh, use only the edges of the yard and uh, not the middle part of the parking so as you can see right here a lot of empty spot in the middle and you can easily back in the truck and uh, pull forward without any issues and you can maneuver right in the middle so if they if they make a new um, a parking plan for this because it's a square uh, yard and uh, they can really utilize this space and they can have they can maybe double the capacity for the parking and as you can see they're already full and they don't have empty spots whatever you see empty it might be trucks uh, left for the work or something but uh, they already f uh, filled up so even with this condition and uh, no maintenance barely spend any money you can still make your money uh, out of the parking uh, business it's that easy you don't need maintenance you don't need to uh, go after the tenants and you don't need to uh, you don't need to talk to people and you know maintain the kitchen and all that stuff so as you can see you can easily generate 15 to $25,000 from this parking without spending any money on it and nobody complained trucks they don't care about how much uh, how much uh, water is on the ground and you know uh, if they have uh, if they just find a spot to park they're good with that you know so you're not gonna hear any complaints about uh, about all these potholes and the water on the ground as long as they have a parking spot so on this side if you can look at the building if uh, somebody wants to do a trucking business they can just have a, a repair shop there and they can uh, back into that dock and uh, or pull in to that building and they can use that uh, for for the repair shop and uh, you can have uh, a lot of money out of that business also or uh, if somebody renting it out for some purpose or warehouse storage uh, it's uh, an extra money you can easily rent that out uh, for like 10,000 square feet building easily like 15 20 grand and depend on the location but uh, uh, the only thing I want to uh, mention here is that uh, <clears throat> if you have a, a yard next to your house or somewhere and that you can find cheap and somehow you can get the truck parking approval this business is gonna generate a lot of money and uh, even if you have a shed in this parking lot without any building and uh, you can use that shed for the repair tire change and if you get the truck wash um, from the township truck wash approval that can generate a lot of money because it's really hard to get the truck wash uh, permits because of the township they complain about the well water that you get the grease and all that and contaminate the water and uh, people don't like uh, having a truck wash around the area so 
if you can do that or you can have a mobile truck wash uh, and uh, you can have a small loading dock which you can use uh, to switch freight for truckers and uh, maybe restacking load so my thing is here is that uh, if we just uh, focus on the parking and then slowly we can uh, see a lot of opportunities around the area and uh, this business uh, there's a lot of shortage uh, in the country for the truck parking it's really hard to get the uh, truck parking if you're living in the worst area and uh, criminal area or uh, the crime rate is really high that mean if you have a yard over there and you just uh, make a fence around that parking lot uh, you can ask whatever money you want because you're giving a security and if you put the cameras on the entrance like uh, uh, we we see the cameras on the on the uh, on the toll boats so they can capture the plates whoever is coming and leaving you don't need a security guard so you can uh, have a parking like that and uh, you can also get the insurance coverage which is uh, just in case if there is some uh, theft or uh, <coughs> stealing from the property you can easily claim that to your insurance all right guys so uh, it's just a little bit information that uh, you know uh, a lot of uh, you guys may be looking for our business opportunities and maybe a lot of you guys have a big parking lots around your house or you can buy that for really cheap and uh, if you have a uh, uh, six to seven acre parking lot you are looking at like a 200 truck parking but you need to be smart on getting uh, it approved uh, from the township and uh, make a make a, a proper uh, design for that and uh, go to the architect and get the design and get it approved so a lot of uh, uh, us are worried about the finance issue that how we gonna get the finance. So <clears throat> I'm not experienced with the real estate, but if you if you have somebody uh, like uh, let's suppose somebody have like five trucks or ten trucks, just get that guy uh, a temporary lease letter from him. Like okay, you, you're gonna rent out uh, ten space to this guy. And let's suppose uh, you guys agreed on uh, like $150 uh, for each truck. So that's like $1,500 right there. So if you get a temporary lease agreement from like multiple trucking companies and you go to the bank, if you go to the bank and you show them you already have tenants for the business you are going to establish and uh, you need a finance for that, they should be looking at you really nicely because, uh, because they see that you already generating uh, money from this business that you are going to open so you already have clients and who wants to rent out the uh, spot and also if you put like 20% down for any any uh, property or real estate uh, the bank look at you uh, uh, that uh, you are a potential customer and you need to show that uh, lease agreements between you and some other trucking company uh, that you they going to rent out spots from you so if you have uh, let's suppose you looking for like a hundred truck parking spots and you get somebody like 15 20 trucks up front and you go to the bank uh, I think they should be looking at you uh, that you are uh, looking for a good business and also you have to show them a business plan just like these parking spots and you show them that this is what you're looking at and you want to uh, have a same kind of business and you don't want to uh, uh, make any building or anything because you know that costs a lot of tax uh, if you have uh, anything above ground or underground you know construction on the building on the ground uh, in the yard then it's gonna cost a lot of tax but a ground like this you don't pay a lot of tax for this you know and if you do use a crushed stones you save a lot of money on the tax so if you use a proper uh, like a road material then it's gonna cost you a lot of money on the tax so you have to be smart with these things and you have to talk to architect in uh, your area and the township and um, also go to the bank if you need a financing if you have your own parking lot then you can just go to the township get it approved so hopefully this video uh, gives some information and hopefully uh, 
you guys uh, can uh, make a good decision about uh, this business and uh, this uh, this business is just not the parking business you can have maybe like 10 15 businesses like I said uh, a repair business uh, car wash I mean the uh, trailer washout and uh, storage and you can like I show you the uh, containers in the front that's like a storage uh, facility you can get it approved as a, as a storage facility you can have it uh, as a u-haul you can rent out to Amazon and uh, uh, FedEx you can also rent out to the school buses and uh, depends you know where whoever pays good money you just need a proper uh, parking uh, which is approved so nobody come and shut down your business so I hope uh, um, all this information helped you guys out, at least motivate you guys to have uh, uh, your own business like this. Uh, please let me know if uh, I'm missing anything or I, uh, I, said I gave any wrong information or you have any information from me uh, because I'm also looking for a similar um, opportunity in different state. So I might be uh, doing that very soon and I will update you guys about uh, the details so thank you so much for watching the video and please subscribe to the channel thank you so much